Hey everybody. So in our last lesson, we did a brief introduction to dynamics. And today's lesson, we are going to go a little bit further into the dynamics questions where we have forces in equilibrium. Reminder that that means that all of the forces that are acting on the object are equal and opposite and are all balanced. And therefore, we have a scenario where F net is going to be equal to zero. Okay, so there's no acceleration. So let's do a couple examples here. And hopefully we'll start to get the hang of it and you will be prepared to do some examples or some practice problems on your own. So, this is our medium example. Our medium difficulty example. A large scoreboard is suspended from the ceiling of an arena by 10 strong cables. Six of the cables make an angle of eight degrees with the vertical, while the other four make an angle of 10 degrees with the vertical. If the tension in each cable is 1300 newtons, what is the scoreboard's mass? So as you're following along with this, you can um, just take a peek at the practice problems to see where, you know, what kind of level of difficulty we're at, because you will have had several questions quite a bit easier than this in the practice problems. And now you'll get some questions that just require a little bit more thinking uh, in order to solve properly. So let's draw our scoreboard here. Or something like this. Okay, maybe we've got a score on it. Eight, two, three, something like that. Okay, there's our scoreboard. And we have got six cables making an angle of eight degrees. And I'm we're assuming for this question that all of those cables are going to line up like this. So all of those cables are in that same line behind that one cable I've just drawn. Now this right here is making an angle of eight degrees with the vertical. That's gonna change a few things. So keep that in mind that it's with the vertical, eight degrees. And we'll call it T1. So T1 is gonna represent all six of those cables. It'll make more sense once we get there. And then let's do the other cable. And it is making an angle of 10 degrees with the vertical. And this is T2. So don't forget to also specify your positive and negative directions. And show me what other forces are acting on the box, because this is a free body diagram after all. We have got a probably quite substantial gravitational force acting on the scoreboard, because I'm going to assume it's pretty heavy. Now, uh, it says, if the tension in each cable is equal to 1300 newtons, what is the scoreboard's mass? So what that's telling us is T1, which is all of those six ones on the left, is equal to T2, which is all those six ones on the right, and they're both equal to 1300 newtons. And we are trying to find what the mass is. What is the mass? Let's take a closer look at what these, uh, what this, these angles are both going to look like. So if I just draw a little zoomed in version here, we've got eight degrees and 10 degrees let's draw let's draw the whole triangle so this is going to be let's go tip to tail remember that's how we add up and we split up into our x and y's so there's our x component of our tension and there's our y component and the same goes for here we're tracing from the beginning to the end so this is t1 this is t2 and they are both equal to 1300. But we've got some angles here, eight degrees and 10 degrees. And we've got some components. This is gonna be T1X and this is gonna be T2X. Sorry, 
Um, don't write that down. Try to see where I made the mistake. I switched the number instead of the letter. This should be T1Y. And this is going to be T2Y and T2X. And we actually have enough information here to calculate uh, T1Y and T2Y. And those are the ones that are going to be counteracting FG, right? Only the Y components, only the vectors that are acting equal and opposite in direction to other vectors are going to cancel them. The only thing that these X components are doing is canceling each other, okay? But it's the Y components that are canceling that FG. And FG is what we need to find mass, right? So we're only concerned in this scenario with the Y component of the tensions. Let's find those. T1Y is equal to 1300, it's the hypotenuse. And here's the thing, we're used to Y immediately being sine. But that's because we normally measure our angles from the horizontal. If we're measuring our angle from the vertical, well now all of a sudden Y is the adjacent, right? Y is the adjacent to the angle. So this is actually gonna be 13 cos of eight degrees. And then we've got T2Y, which is going to be equal to 1300 cos of 10 degrees. Now, like I mentioned before, and like it's... Sorry, there was an announcement there. Um, like it mentions in the question, it says six cables make an angle of 8 degrees. With the vertical well four make an angle of 10 degrees so we've got six cables that are sharing the load of this t1 and four cables that are sharing the load of this t2 so what i can actually do is i can take this number i can multiply this one by six and this one by four and it'll give me the total tension spread across all of those cables and if i do that i take six times 1300 cos of 8. Let's plug it into our calculator. Cos of 8 degrees. Let's let's leave this right now and we'll we'll deal with this after. Just I don't want to confuse us quite yet. Let's just calculate what these are. So if I plug in 1300 cos of 8, I get 1287. Point three, let's do a couple, let's do two, three, five newtons. And T2Y is going to be equal to 1300 cos 10, 10 degrees, and we'll get 1280, slightly smaller, 0.25. Now let's set up, let's take advantage of this F net equals zero. Now F net equals zero means that both F net in the X direction is going to be equal to zero and F net in the Y direction are going to be equal to zero. And I have forgotten vector arrows. Do not do that. Very important. So this one is not a concern to us because it's not, we're not, we're trying to find mass, right? And mass is only going to be able to be found by looking at the Y direction. So let's do F net Y equals zero. That's the portion of the question that we should be focusing on. In order to accurately be able to calculate F net Y, we need to add up all of the Y forces. Obviously, one of our Y forces that's going to be very important is the gravitational force. But we also have T1Y and T2Y. And let's include that times six and that times four now. So six T one Ys and then four T two Ys. So six T one Y plus four T two Y. And all of that is equal to zero. They all cancel each other out. So let's move F G over to the other side, and we'll get six T one Y plus 4t2y 
equals negative fg. Now note that I haven't gotten rid of my vector arrows yet, so I still am going to have a moment where I'm going to have to plug in my scalar values. Now don't forget that fg is equal to mass times the gravitational acceleration. So we'll plug that in for that. And we'll also plug in our values. So let's do all of our scalar values plugged in now. So six times. Now remember, I decided that up was positive. So this is going to be positive 1,287.35 plus four times 1,280.25 equals negative m, which we don't know, times g which G is 9.8 meters per second squared down. Let's just be diligent here. 9.8 meters per second squared down. And down means negative, so negative 9.8. And look at this, we get a nice cancellation, a negative multiplied by a negative gives us a positive. And so all I have to do is just add these up. Do six times this plus four times this, add them up, divide by 9.8. And it'll look something like this. If you add all of this up, you should get 12,845.1 divided by 9.8. And so our final mass, which is good, it's a positive number, would be 1,310.7. Kilograms. Okay, so that is our final answer for our medium difficulty question. And we can move on to the final one, which is our difficult, our difficult level example. And we'll do that one in the next video.